empty encouragement without the attachment of the word of God, hallelujah, is going to come back void. Hallelujah. God yes, isn't in it. Praise yes, God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord, enough is enough. Get your hands off my people. Hallelujah. hallelujah. He was talking about every single person who feels the need to say a word of encouragement will boom, attach the word of God to it. Praise mm. God. Hallelujah. He said, get your hands off my people. Let go of the poor and stop taking advantage of the widows. Come hallelujah. On, Only I am God, he says. Only. Thus says the Lord, lest you come to me as, a, as little children, you will not enter heaven. For the little children, the humble, are the greatest in the kingdom. Yes. Every last one of us are God's little children. It is up to us to work on our humble nature. Hallelujah. We know we have to go unto him humble, but we got to work on that nature. On. Hallelujah. It doesn't come naturally when we've been so dependent on ourselves to do this and to do that. We become prideful. Hallelujah. But we got to humble ourselves unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Because he is the only God. Hallelujah. And God alone. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord, it is well seasoned. Wealth is on the land at a specific location. Praise God. Thus says the Lord, examine where you are. You need to do this first to ensure you are in position to receive this wealth. Amen. You have to be planted in good soil, fertile soil, Jesus Christ, to receive. Amen. He said not visiting good soil. He said not stopping by good soil. He right. said not observing good soil, hallelujah, but planted there. Planted. Thus says the Lord, first you must plant, hallelujah, be planted in good soil. Hallelujah. Fertile soil help us grow spiritually and physically. Yes. Fertile soil is rich of nutrients. Fertile soil is rich, period. Hallelujah. Fertile soil brings forth abundance. Fertile soil produces much fruit. Yes, yes. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord, good soil is holy soil, is righteous soil, soil of judgment. What you plant here, you will reap. Yes, Hallelujah. Lord. According to Ephesians chapter yes, 6, verse 8, Knowing that whatever good thing each one does, hallelujah, this he will receive back from the Lord, whether slave or free, hallelujah. This yes. means sowing a reaping is for everybody. everybody. Praise God. Praise God. Let me share some greater news. Some of you have not labored at all. You have not picked up a finger. You say, you know what? I'm not even going to work for it. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something about our good God. Yet God has blessed you too. According to John chapter 4, verse 38, it says, I sent you to reap that for which have not labored. Others have labored and you have entered into their labor. This is how good God is. This yes, means is. many of you are reaping from what others have labored. Yes. For those who may say or may be thinking, yes. well, that's not fair. That's not fair. Let me tell you something else. I am to remind you of God's word. Romans 9, 18. Therefore, God has mercy on whom he wants to have mercy, and he pardons whom he wants to harden. This time, he is showing mercy to your neighbor. Next time, it may be you. Come on, Hallelujah. Now. Come be on, a good cheer. Hallelujah. Come on now. This you need to know. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord. Good soil, fertile soil belongs to God. Yes. Are you planted there? Yes. Thus says the Lord, this is wealth season. Wealth is on the land in a specific location. The Lord says, examine where you are planted. Yes, Look at your church. Hallelujah. The Lord says, am I there? Meaning, is Jesus there? Hallelujah. Good fruit should be produced there. Are there missionaries helping the needy, ways of reaching the young church? Or is it all about you giving to the church so the church can then help the poor and needy? See, the mission begins with the church. The church has an obligation to do what it's supposed to do, whether you decide to help or not. Come Hallelujah. On now. Come on now. Do you know the widows in the church? This is important. Do you know the widows? Do you know the ones who have lost a spouse? How are they being treated? Hallelujah. The Lord says, also look at your home. Where you lay your head. Hallelujah. It should be producing good fruit. Come on Check the soil to see what's growing. Is, is Jesus in your home? Praise God. Do you feel love or hate when you are there? Is forgiveness or revenge in the air? Is it a welcoming or cold atmosphere? Is respect shown or is behavior intrusive? Praise God. He said pay attention. Pay attention. He said look at your workplace. Yes, Lord. It should be fruitful. Come on now. Ask yourself, is Jesus there? Hallelujah. Come on now. Yes. Do you 
see promotion rather than stagnation? Yes. Do you feel welcome or ostracized? Yes, thank you. Are you favored or hated? Hallelujah. Favored. There Hallelujah. should be many opportunities to grow. Thank you. Thus says the Lord, there are no limits in fertile soil when it comes to the word of God for your life. Praise God. Amen. Come on, prophets. Fertile ground releases you from bondage because of Jesus. Yes. This is why it's important. The fruit that grows here is plentiful. Thank you. It is fresh, multiplied, and good. Fertile soil helps you to believe in greater. That there, hallelujah, is more for you. Hallelujah. That means that there is more for you because you're believing in greater. Hallelujah. You're no longer believing in just getting a house and a car. Hallelujah. You're, you're believing in a big profit. Hallelujah. You're believing, hallelujah, that you can live in that, that million dollar home. Hallelujah. You're believing, hallelujah, that when you go over to your bank account, hallelujah, there's overflow. Hallelujah. That you're loaning something. The stretch of your life, hallelujah. Yeah. How well you live, hallelujah. Yeah. Your belief, hallelujah. Yeah. Believe. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, verses 14 through 17 reads, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage, but received the spirit of adoption, by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness to our spirit that we are children of God. And if children... Then heirs, hallelujah, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. This means we have what God says we can have, hallelujah. We can have more, hallelujah, children of God, hallelujah. And today the Lord says we have access to wealth on the land in a specific location, hallelujah, if we operate accordingly. So how do we need to operate, hallelujah? These are the tools, hallelujah, and I pray you right now. First, he said plant yourself in fertile soil. Sow your seeds, your tithes, your offering, your time, your energy, efforts, prayers, praise, worship, petitions, thanksgiving, hopes, dreams, trust, belief, faith, obedience, and expectations in good soil. Good soil. Be sure to name your seed when you sow. For all seeds produce specific fruit. Sow your seeds with a specific purpose. For what you sow, you reap. Second, with faith and belief, prophesy over your seeds. Call it those things which are not as though they were. Romans 4, 17. Speak to the land. Prophesy that it will produce an abundant harvest. Be not afraid for God is with you. Instead, be bold. Number three. Pray for the supernatural release of water. For your seeds to grow in expectancy. Praise God. According to Isaiah 44, 3. Hallelujah. It reads, for I will pour water on the thirsty land and streams on the dry ground. I will pour out my spirit on your offspring and my blessings on your descendants. This is a mighty word. God will not only water the ground that your seeds are in, he will pour out his spirit onto your children, bless your grandchildren, great grand and great grandchildren. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Number four, pray for laborers. The harvest will be big. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 9 verse 35 says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news for the kingdom and healing every disease and sicknesses. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. See, when we plant seeds, these seeds are not just for ourselves. These seeds are not just for our offspring and this, in the, uh, descendants, praise God. These seeds are also for the lost souls. These seeds are for the unchurched, the lukewarm, the lost sheep, the poor, the widows. Hallelujah. These seeds, hallelujah, are for the kingdom of God. These seeds are first, hallelujah, the provisions for God's teachings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why people can come onto your, your land, your field, hallelujah, and reap what you've sown. Hallelujah. Because this is for his people. It's not just for you. See, God isn't just thinking about you. Hallelujah. When he multiplies the fruit of the land, he is thinking about all of his other sons and daughters who need the same provisions. Praise God. Let's be about the business of God and plant the seeds on the land he has given us specifically. Go to the location and begin planting, for God is a God who 
shall not lie. Hallelujah. Number five and final rule. Hallelujah. So this is the fifth and final rule. Give 10% of the entire harvest back to God. You may sow seeds and offerings, but don't forget that that first hand belongs to him. Hallelujah. And in closing, I leave you with this warning, as thus says the Lord. Yes, Lord. The Lord says many of you want the blessing of a mighty harvest, but you won't take care of the blessings he already gave you. Come on now. He said, hallelujah, you won't take care of your health. Hallelujah. You slumber in paying your insurance on time. Hallelujah. He said you will not keep up with your credit cards. Hallelujah. A credit card, he said, is just a monitoring device to see how well you stored it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How well do you store your money? Praise God. The Lord says, my wealth will no longer be misused or mishandled. Hallelujah. My wealth will no longer supply the wicked. My wealth, hallelujah, is for the kingdom. What he gives us, what he blesses us with is for the kingdom. Hallelujah. Thus says the Lord, be ready to receive my judgment for not handling what I gave you the way I told you. To choose Christ is to choose obedience. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. That's 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 22. God expects obedience. Hallelujah. That's in Deuteronomy chapter 11. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then the Lord gave me this scripture. Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not what I say? Hallelujah. Why are you calling on the Lord and not even following his commands, not even following his statutes, not even following his directions? Hallelujah. That's in Luke 6 if you want to read it. Why are you calling on to him and you're not even following him? Hallelujah. 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 You want something for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do not merely listen to the word and so deceive yourself. Do what it says. That's in James chapter 1. The Lord says disobedience, hallelujah, is you following your own will rather than God's will. Hallelujah. He says some of you are saying, I am going to do this. Hallelujah. You're talking about what you're going to do. I think that, hallelujah. You're talking about what you're thinking. Hallelujah. I'm not going over there. Hallelujah. You're talking about what you're not going to do. Hallelujah. I don't mess I don't mess around with those folks. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Who told you you don't mess around with those folks? Hallelujah. Did God tell you don't mess around with those folks? Did God tell you not to pray for those folks? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said you just talking all this stuff. Hallelujah. But he never told you any of this. Praise God. Hallelujah. Disobedience. Following your own will. Not even listening for what he's telling you to do. Amen. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord showed that he knew us. Hallelujah. Before we were even in our mother's womb. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's in Jeremiah chapter 1. Hallelujah. Yes. Behold, the greatest harvest has arrived, thus says the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Many will miss the good season. Hallelujah. This good season. He said many of you will miss it because of disobedience. Yes. He said right now, repent of your sins and praise God for being merciful. Praise God. He said this is wealth season. Your wealth is in a specific location. Thus says the Lord, many has put, hallelujah, many have put their wealth, their prosperity, their riches on the line, hallelujah, for alcohol, for smoking, for throwing away blessings, hallelujah, and unholy things. He said, being selfish, ignoring others, forbearing God's word, overlooking Jesus, yes, overlooking Jesus, just throwing away your riches, just throwing away your wealth, hallelujah, hallelujah, because your wealth and riches are in Christ Jesus, Amen. hallelujah. Amen. Be not afraid of your harvest. He said, hallelujah, if it returns to you, tarred and black, hallelujah, instead of reflect and do better, hallelujah, it may not come back the way you thought it should, hallelujah, because it was something maybe that you failed to do. But he said, hallelujah, don't be discouraged, just do better. Receive, hallelujah, many people receive. You see farmers receiving, hallelujah, when the crop doesn't won't produce what they have set it out to do, hallelujah, they'll go out and receive, hallelujah, which means they're expecting a harvest, they're not giving up. He said, receive and follow the rules of harvesting. Praise God. He said, and watch a plentiful good harvest return to you in Jesus' name. I just want to thank God for this word. I want to thank God for these instructions. I want to thank God for the, the scripture in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for just showing us, hallelujah, that we can go out and talk to the land, hallelujah. We can bring these things into obedience, hallelujah. All we have to do is follow Jesus Christ. All we have to do is make him my Lord and Savior. All we have to do is just stand up, hallelujah. Stand on the word of God. Stand on the promises of God. And know who we are, children of God, hallelujah. We are heirs, hallelujah. Walk like it, talk like it, act like it, hallelujah. And if you don't embody that, hallelujah, he said, hallelujah, you might want to do better, hallelujah. Hallelujah, receive, hallelujah. Plant yourself on good soil, hallelujah. And watch yourself 
He does not lie. Hallelujah. He wants you to be fruitful. He has good plans for you. Receive it. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord God, for the word. Hallelujah. I pray that these ingredients have reached your soul and you know what to do. Hallelujah. Don't go forth being a poor, broke person anymore. You have the wealth. Hallelujah, darling. Go and use it in the mighty name of Jesus. Activate it in Jesus.